What's going on everybody? My name is Dylan, otherwise known as Poise, and welcome in to a tutorial video. Basically, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, do the Masuda method in this game, because there is no daycare. You have your own, uh, essentially your own daycare with you at all times, which would be uh, your picnic. So uh, we're gonna be going ahead and uh, doing some eggs for uh, Quagsley, because I've been trying to get to shiny Quagsley. So what we need to do is um, only have two Pokemon in your party. So I have uh, Satoddle and Houndstone with me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and so you can see I have some eggs already started. Um, this, real, this is a new method, so give or take what you said. So in Sword and Shield, you could actually, uh, you had a daycare area and you could receive eggs from the daycare lady and you could hatch them at the same time. However, in this game, you cannot do that. You, can, you have to get them all at the same time. Um, but I'm gonna do a little breakdown of what I think you should do. So there is uh, two areas in which um, is very important. So one, for Masuda method, if you're doing full odds, is 1 in 683 or 800 or 684. If you have the shiny charm, the odds are 1 in 512. You should know this. These are standard Masuda, Masuda method odds. So it's either 1 in 683 or 1 in 512, depending on if you have charm or not. So right now, I'm currently don't have the shiny charm, so I'm the 1 in 6, uh, 680. So uh, basically, what you want to do is you can see Pokemon here that I have in my party. So I have a uh, English... Uh, Whatever is this Pokemon is the evolve for the final evolution for Quaxley, and then I have a uh, German di uh, ditto here, as you can see at the bottom. So if you have a friend you can get that's playing a different language, you can get uh, if you want a ditto, or you can get, for example, if I had a female one of these that was a different language, then that would be Masuda. If you don't have two different language Pokemon that has this little indication down here where it says G E R for German, then your odds will be one in four thousand. So you definitely want to have a partner that is a different. Um, one way you could do this is play, like, for example, again, um, Germany. You could play in German in your Switch at the beginning settings when you choose. You could have English, Spanish, whatever, etc. down below, uh, Japanese, etc. You don't get uh, Ditto until you get to this area right here that I'm at. Um, Ditto is actually very hard to get because uh, I forget what this town is actually called. Um, it's called Med Medley. Medley? So uh, Ditto is actually here, and it's actually... A Pokemon so for example is the evolved forms uh, I think it's oinks evolved form is the evolved form of it of the chunk and it actually is disguised as it so if you battle it then eventually you'll see that it is a ditto so that's how you get a ditto in this area you don't actually see a wild ditto you might be able to see a wild ditto but the only ones I've encountered are ones that were disguised or transformed so uh, if you look at it I guess there's a distinct difference between the Pokemon that can indicate that it is a ditto but anyways, enough about that. If you wanted to, you could start a new game, play Japanese or whatever, and get your ditto and trade it over to a friend or whatever. So we have the two different dittos here. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit Picnic. Actually, I lied. Don't do that. Okay. So we are in Metalia, like I just said, the city. So to get boosted rates, there are sandwiches that you can make that give you an egg power boost. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and save because I don't want to spend money on it right now. But... Uh, so there's a sandwich you can make. I think it's the jam sandwich that gives you a level one increased egg boost. Now these egg boosts usually last 15 to 30 minutes. Um, so since I'm in Medley right here on the west side, you just go over into this area, and there is a restaurant that will uh, that will sell you a sandwich. So you're gonna go ahead and go over here, and you can use uh, your LP or you can actually spend. So you want the second one right here where it says increase in egg power at level two. So you're gonna go ahead buy this. We'll use LP, and then. It basically will eat your sandwich and give you an egg power increase. Now, this egg power is very important because it, the more the egg power you have, it gets you the faster to get eggs to accrue in your basket or to actually hatch the eggs. So um, that's one thing I would recommend 100% you do. And like I said, you can make a jam sandwich as well. And then you can see your egg power increase up there. Now, they actually do not stack. So I tried actually stacking um, this with, on top of a, a jelly sandwich, and it did not work, or a jam sandwich, sorry. But... Okay, so now we're going to go back over to the area in which we can picnic. We should, uh, if you hit the uh, right on the D-pad here, you can see you have a 29 minute until the of the increase of the boost. Um, so you have 29 minutes to get all the eggs you can or hatch all the eggs that you can. So we're going to go ahead and set up our picnic. And then there we go. You'll see your Pokemon. Now you only want to have your Ditto and or your two Pokemon that you want to breed in your party. Now these eggs will go directly into your uh, your boxes, so it'll automatically do it and it'll just keep going. Um, your basket can only hold 10 eggs per round. So if say I sit here for a long period of time and I forget, I go over there and I collect, I get my 10 eggs and then um, it still will keep going. So it can only hold 10, uh, 10 eggs at a time. 
and then once you get all the eggs they will start doing it again uh, it takes it does take a little bit for them to actually do it um so it it's not as fast but you got to remember sword and shield wasn't, wasn't that fast as well so like for example i'm just sitting here walking around you can do other things while you're doing it you peek in the basket oh look at there's a pokemon egg so we can go ahead and get it and that was the only one that I had so if you, the more time you just like spend like if i were just to sit here and wait then uh i don't know it doesn't really take that long i would say probably a good one to three minutes or so and you can get a lot of eggs and you just keep doing this over the period of 30 minutes and you can just literally just keep sitting here and you just keep checking you can count how many eggs if you wanted to and then um start hatching so once uh we have another egg you have two eggs right there so see you just keep doing it over time um and then obviously like i said the max is 10 so i'm just gonna hop out and then one the other thing you want to do for this masuda method is you want to have a pokemon with flame body or I don't remember, the, I think Harkoal has a different ability. Steam Engine. Steam Engine also is good too. So Flame Body is the Pokemon you're going to want to have. Or Steam Engine, I believe. So Flame Body would increase. So uh, if you have yet to go catch one, highly recommend you catch a Fletchinder. A Fletchinder is really good. So you would just put Fletchinder in your party. And then I would go over here. Okay. So then I would just go ahead and... I know I'm doing my eggs really weird, but it's just for a tutorial. And then the eggs hatch really fast. So as long as you're on Coridon, it hatch really fast. Um, so you got five five eggs in. And then I just pick an area. Uh, I would I'd recommend picking a lower area so you don't run into high Pokemon. This area has kind of got a lot of higher level Pokemon. For example, my Fletchinder is not very high. So you just keep running back and forth. Uh, to hatch eggs is really actually fast. They don't do in Sword and Shield. What Sword and Shield used to do is they used to hatch all five eggs at the same time. That is not a thing in this game for some reason. But... Uh, you can actually, so you just hatch one egg. I think it's usually a couple up and down trips so you actually can hatch it. I swear if I hatch it and it's shiny, I'll be upset. But, so right there, look at that was pretty fast. Not even a full two. So as you can see, you can see the background. Pretty cool backdrop. And now there are spots in the game in which if you're on like a hill or something, it actually won't hatch the egg. It'll go to a generic background. I wish you could switch to that, like Sword and Shield's background. And there we go. We have our, ha uh, our Quexley hatching. And then we're going to go ahead and hatch the rest of these eggs as well. I'd highly recommend you take off nicknames too. I mean, you can. I think you can nickname them later on because I actually don't know where the name raider is. And then we're just going to keep going. But yeah, hopefully this video is helpful for you. Make sure if you get Shine Charm, like I said, you'll be 1 in 512. Have two different parents or a di different language Pokemon, the ones that you're breeding. Helps out a lot. Like I said, if you don't do it, then you're going to be in 1 in 4,000 odds. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions down below, this method is still very new to all of us and we're trying to learn. I mean, it's very straightforward. You can just... Uh, I literally I was making food for dinner tonight and I just had I mean it was just cooking on the stove and I just had, I had my thing going for the picnic and I just kept clicking the eggs and I just kept collecting I collected about 180 eggs in about a 30 minute span so uh, I don't know if that's good I don't know if that's bad so I don't know I haven't decided if I like this method or not I don't I like the fact that in Sword and Shield you could uh, collect while hatching that was a really cool feature so we can hatch the rest of these eggs I mean there's no point not to but yeah hopefully like I said it was helpful for you if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Coming out with a lot of new videos. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, check out the channel. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you see you later. Not shy.